My name is James Wright. I'm working right now with Boston University and doing biochemistry. Specifically, I'm working with uh, receptor signaling uh, on uh, neuride outgrowth. And there are several. Uh, my interest is basically drug design and rational drug design also to extend to uh, the DOD work in my internship uh, as it applies. I'm interested in doing biosensors and intelligent design on biosensors instead of kind of the haphazard uh, way they go about it now um, and, and actually designing them from scratch and, and purposefully and making them specific to lower uh, false positive, false negatives to really get something useful in the field that can be applied. I've not had any issues with my sponsoring facility at all with uh, flexibility, with helping me to get all the, the processing done to, to work there uh, as far as the clearancing, uh, clearing me and getting my CAC and getting just everything that needed, my uh, computer access, everything. Um, getting, my, getting a desk and an office, lab space, everything was very generous and providing me, providing me with the supplies and materials I needed to get that done, um, as well as working with a lot of people there. Everybody's been very nice and very, uh, very available to, to help me with any issues I've had, any concerns I've had, and just working with me to, like I said, we're working together to develop this method. So we're working side by side pretty much daily. So that says a lot from a graduate student, <laughs> as far as complaining goes. So. <laughs> we are a bunch of complainers. I was very eager uh, because the, the application process is really easy. Um, I literally had it done the day I found out about it. Um, it, it. Just the opportunities that you have with the SMART program, both with the you know the financial side of it and the money, which is which is better than any program I've seen anywhere. Um, there literally is no comparison um, for tuition, stipend, support in general. Uh, like I said, also with the the project support uh, support that I've had, while not you know, flowing, it, it, it helps. Um, but then also just the exposure you get in academia, at least with my experience, you don't hear anything about the Department of Defense, you don't hear anything about the federal government and any work you might do. I've gone to MIT, Harvard, to Boston University, which is where I am, to, for seminars on what, what happens next my first year, which is when I applied for the SMART program. And I hear about academia, going to be a professor, don't want to be a professor, it's a miserable life. Um, in industry, it's appealing to me. I like I like a lot of, a lot of the the money that they have, um, but it, it's a little bit more restrictive in industry because they are obviously product focused. They have to produce something to justify employing you. Um, in the smart program, opened up an opportunity which I looked into actually as as when I was enlisted and when I. Um, when I enlisted with the Army to actually do research as uh, an, uh, as an officer potentially with the Army directly and as part of that, but it's a very small program, uh, at least for officers. So, and they actually, they, they kind of farm it out to civilian employees for that and it didn't really, they didn't really expose us to that. They just told us what our opportunities were as you know, enlisted, you know, this is what you can do. Um, and I did not know the, the huge opportunities that were there for biological chemical research with the Army. Um, and that's something that the SMART program is exposed me to. I'd be teaching. Um, I'd be a teaching fellow at my university, which I, which is basically, at least with my university, and I know it's not that way everywhere, is glorified babysitting. Um, you, and it's a way you take 20 hours your 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 week, and you sit in a lab or you sit in a discussion section um, throughout the week. So it's actually very disruptive to a schedule and a routine. And you basically make sure nobody hurts themselves um, because again, I'm a chemistry biochemistry major. Um, you know, we're dealing with things that people can really hurt themselves on with. So you know, we're just making sure they don't hurt themselves, each other, and making sure they turn things in and grading. We grade for everybody, and that's you know. To me, that's annoying and distracts from what I'm there to do is to learn how to solve problems. Um, teaching does not teach does not facilitate that at all. This has allowed me to focus on my research. Hopefully, get me out of there sooner than I would have um, than my 
Uh, the average graduating time in biochemistry is five and a half years. I'm looking to at least get out of there at most five years. Hopefully four and a half years is, is the current projection. So um, uh, it looks like the program will have allowed me to cut a year off of my program and uh, again giving me the freedom to explore things that I would not have had the time or opportunity to do otherwise because as I say with my internships I'm able to develop a method that I could not do at my uh, university. I had no idea the scope of what I was getting into and the opportunities I have. Not only am I able to actually work in the field I want to do, but there's also flexibility to work within anywhere in the Department of Defense ultimately um, as, as time goes on. So if, say, I'm interested in doing some other, uh, some other aspect, something for the government, I, once I'm in the system, I'll have that opportunity, which is something that I think I would probably, at least in, in, for a short term, take that you normally wouldn't get. I, I really am excited about the program. It's, uh, I do tell just about anybody and everybody that, you know, doesn't, that doesn't know what they want to do, that, uh, you know, there's, there's this stigma about government work that, it, that exists, especially in academia, and is perpetrated by professors. Um, I, I hesitate to say that, to use that word, but they really do just frown upon government work, and I'm not sure why. Um, because there's a lot of funding that comes from it, especially with funding being tight from the, uh, you know, the normal channels, NIH, NSF, the collaborating and working with the Department of Defense in general is a huge opportunity that they just overlook and they, they, they avoid when I feel they shouldn't. I mean, that, again, like I, like I say, there's a lot of things I wouldn't be able to do uh, if I were just, if I were any of, my, any of the other graduate students in my program, just kind of stuck with the tools I have and not able to actually utilize everything that the Army has. I can, I literally can use anything they have as, it, as time opens up. Uh, it would be opportunity. I mean, there's really nothing else that you can say. I mean, there are a lot of other things that go along with it. There are a lot of adjectives you could use that um, would describe my enthusiasm, but what it what is provided for me is opportunity bottom line for new students i would definitely say that don't don't let those stigmas that are out there that you hear about government work it, it really there really are opportunities that you're not going to get anywhere else and it's it's all good work and the, the people here uh, that, that work within this system are, uh, have a different way of thinking about problems that you're not going to get. So, at the, you know, you're definitely going to get exposure to solving problems in ways that you're, you're not used to and that you probably wouldn't have anticipated uh, otherwise. And I would tell you to make this a personal uh, personal investment is that if you're applying for the program it's it's got to you've got to want it it's not it, it can't be just about the money uh, because the, nothing in life is free and there are commitments involved there are the internships the yearly internships there is the commitment afterwards so you've got to want it it's it's not just a way to get through school uh, and that's I think the key is making it personal. And for uh, new students that have, that have just been awarded, I would say be flexible. Uh, everything, it's a new program still, and there, things are changing, as well as there are a lot of unknowns to you as you're coming through the program, and you're going to have to adapt and adjust to these things because government life is so different than anywhere else. It's just like going from academia to industry. There's a complete difference in the way things are done, the way things are handled. The government is a third entity that, again, is, is rarely discussed and rarely mentioned, but it, it again, it's, it's a, an amalgamation of the two, and I think it takes the best of both worlds, but it's, it still is an, a, an adjustment, and you've got to get used to working with the people in the system as well as uh, the programs and projects that you're going to be exposed to.